Hey guys, today we are taking a peek at Amen. This title was just launched on Steam and is a side-scrolling platformer with some puzzle elements. The basic gist is that for each level you need to kill a certain number of enemies before your helicopter lands to pick you up. You will need to reach the escape point too, so you can't use up all your resources without forethought. You may stay on each level and try to clear out all the bad guys for more points. The story set up for this is that your group messed up production in an adroid factory and now they are loose and feeling murderous. Your team tried to blow the factory up, but forgot the detonator, so here you are. Now, the enemy AI is rather dumb, they will mindlessly stand next to explosive barrels, walk into pits, over spikes, they will also keep chasing you until you put a solid object between you and them, at which point they promptly forget they ever saw you. You will slowly encounter smarter adroids, but by that I just mean they are not complete morons who commit suicide at the drop of a hat. You will also unlock new characters to use as you progress, and you play several each level. You need to change between them as you go in order to clear the way for the rest of the team. As well as avoiding being caught, which is an insta-death the second they touch you by the way, you also need to keep an eye out for traps or just getting yourself stuck in an area. The hazards progress the deeper into the game you get, ranging from basic spike pits to pressure plates, mines, electric cables. Of course, all the things that will kill you also harm the androids. You need to survey a level before moving and try to work out what path to take as you have limited charges on each character's special abilities. Now about those, each class you play have unique skills they can use to interact with the environment. In a few hours of playing I had three different controllable characters, a basic soldier who can use guns, dynamite and grenades, an engineer who can demolish and construct things in each level, and a commando who makes use of a parachute to survive long falls, and a grappling hook. There are a couple of other playable characters I have yet to unlock. For the gameplay itself, while simple in concept, it can be more complex than it first appears, with only limited use of your skills, although there are recharges available throughout levels. What seems straightforward can often end up in you being one bomb short of making it to the helicopter. It can be a bit of trial and error when working through some of the more complex levels, as you might see the correct path but take the characters through it in the wrong order, meaning you require a particular ability and that guy is stuck on the other side of the map waiting for you to flip a switch that you can't reach with who you're playing. I wouldn't say the sequence of events to take is by any means obvious most of the time, so repeated runs to figure out what certain switches do will be required. This coupled with the fact that one mistake means you need to restart can become a bit frustrating. There is a checkpoint system in place, you can activate machines and levels that will save your progress up to that point, but it costs you your score. Unfortunately, this requires not only reaching them, but having not taken any wrong moves before that, otherwise your save will be useless. Any level you've already completed can be retried at any time from the main menu, allowing you to just pass each and go back for the perfect score later. There are four main areas, each with ten levels for you to get mad at. There's an in-game shop where you can use the points you've accumulated to deck out your characters in new outfits, or more practical things, and bonus starts on certain levels. There's also a medal page for you to track achievements. As for the writing and voice acting, I'm afraid the whole thing just felt a bit awkward. I get the idea that they were aiming for comedy, but for me it just didn't work at all. When writing consists of characters actually saying LOL or OMG and talking about taking out noobs, while voice acted in over-the-top annoying ways, it just all kind of jarred. Fortunately, this is a minor component to the game for in between levels, but they do like to pipe up in game sometimes too. Music wise, it's okay, although it does sound panicky whenever you're being chased. The problem is, often you are not about to die, it's just that an enemy can see you but can't reach you, so every time it amped up, I had to quickly check all my guys were still safe, as one death means restarting, and it turned out everything was fine, but it would still play for two minutes because one guy just happens to be standing where they can see him. I started off using a keyboard, and while it was usable, a uh, controller felt 10 times better. I would definitely say use one if you have it. The controls on that flow quite nicely, and it's much easier to make sure you don't jump down a hole. Overall, this game was okay. Personally, I wasn't very impressed, however, I can't go as far as to say it was a bad game. I make these videos for you guys to make your own minds up. I don't think I would buy it again, and certainly not for the £10 they are currently asking for on Steam. However, if you don't mind redoing levels a bunch and aren't bothered by cringy characters, then it's worth taking a look. If you think you're interested, I put a link to the Steam store page in the description. I've been Amy Meza, this has been Amen, thanks for watching!